Hi, my name's Chuck Marshall. I'm the creator of Mage Haven. Uh, I teased you a little bit with uh, a little showcase of the armor, but tonight we're going to be meeting uh, Marcus and he's going to be showing us a little bit more in depth about what he does, how he got involved with the project, and we're going to meet uh, Matthew Halusa, who is going to be playing one of our elves and uh, he's going to be dressed up in the armor. We're going to get a closer look and go a little bit more in depth. So, let's get to it. My name is Marcus Slonsky. I am assisting in the Mage Haven project. My job is to design and create the armor that is going to be used for the short. I'm working on uh, the suits of armor for the Elven Warriors, as well as making some armor accessories and leather accessories for other members of the cast. Armor is applied in layers. So you can see here, this is what unfinished leather looks like. So this leather hasn't been edged, um, uh, nor is it uh, and treated at all so it's not protected and it's also kind of raw looking so the breastplate here as you can see it's been um, has at least one layer of dye on it in some places it's got two and um, we're going to finish it up you can see how it gives it a much more worn rugged look uh, to the leather so you have this strapping going across the chest and across the back and then the chest plate goes on over that so it holds it all down and oppose if this was to go across then you would basically be going over and like I said it'd be like it wouldn't fit as well because it wouldn't be as close and tight fitting. So the armor is strapped so you can see the back here. Um, so you have a system of buckles here and what this allows for is a very nice um, tight fitting um, way to put the armor on and because it's all strapped this armor will actually fit someone you know within a few sizes of this um, and this is sort of closer to the way that actual armor is strapped. So the way the others, the leather's lace is that it can, it can basically contract if he bends, like if you bend forward, it'll bend in on itself, which allows him to be mobile. So like, for example, if this was a solid steel breastplate, yeah, you know, he'd only be able to go a little bit, even with like something very nice, like a nice um, Gothic breastplate. But with the leather, he can move because of the way it's strapped. Um, you know, he can twist and move around fairly well. So some of the other things, so besides the armor pieces being finished up, um, some of the other things are going to happen to this costume is obviously the helm's going to get finished um, and that'll be added as sort of a finalized version. Also we're going to add a cloak in. Now, this is the actual cloak, but this will sort of give you an idea of the look we're going for. Um, so he'll have a nice big heavy cloak that's going to hang off of him um, that'll actually attach probably to the back of the armor so it's not going to be in his way when he's running or fighting anything like that and it'll be able to drape over him so if you want you can go for the whole concealment look and you don't know where he is <laughs> he doesn't know where he is you know you got your assassin's creed batman look going on and then you can flip it back and you've got full armor underneath 